Good evening, everyone. Hello. Welcome to a another live baking. Um, yeah, it's been a fortnight since I've since I've done one of these, so I hope I'm not rusty. So uh, yeah, hello to the. We've got four in <laughs> by the time last. Yeah. Copyright on your own ad. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, yeah, so, uh, you know, we'll just wait for a few more to come in. Tonight, we're going to be making English Madeleines. Now, the difference between English and French is that French are just plain, but the English version has got jam and coconut on them. Hey, I'm Jadzi. So, uh, so yes. Um, yeah, Chris is neither fond of coconut or cherries, so our sister must as well just eat, you know, just eat cherries and, you know, hey ho, can't make everything, you know, already in waiting. Jeanette sounds right. Well, I'm just going to put the link in um, for Tracy. As I always say, this is for Tracy, nobody else. If you try getting in, you won't, you won't, you won't get past me. <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm, I'm just... Um, That is is uh, that is for Tracy's benefit. Nobody else's. Um, yeah, you could try, but you're not getting. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. So yeah, Mister P's just made a coffee. Um, uh, that's about it, really. Got all my ingredients. Very few ingredients, as I normally say, or usually say. Um, you know, the link to the uh, where you can find the recipe is in the description, and also ingredients, etc. I think you know that this the bean is not the bean of the call. Yeah, <laughs> coconut is the best. I will prove it with a video shortly. Oh, there you go, then. But yes, I was just, I was just telling everybody uh, the difference between English ones and. Um, I'm hi, <laughs> so yeah, I, I would just try to explain the difference between French Madeleines and English ones. Basically, they're better English than the French. That's the difference. <laughs> um, basically, ours is more posh. The English version. No, I don't know about you, Tracy, but I've greased all my moulds just in case. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Hey. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, I've, I've I've greased them all just in case. You know this. Uh... Can you not do that drop before I sort this one, please? Someone's dropped down the back. Oh, she's a pain in the ass. Yeah, you're a bit about say it. no, Tracy. If you if you got your time again, say no. <laughs> say no. <laughs> uh, excuse me, she's done damn lucky to have me. Come on. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> that that that's. Well, uh, most that's, people think they're awesome. I am. <laughs> that, that's debatable, but we're not debating that. I knew you'd say that. <laughs> that is amazing how this looks like a TV station. We should have millions yeah, watching, got, yeah. Got what you need. Well, Davina, there's only three at the moment, so. Right, yeah. Okay, but, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be nice, though, a million watching. Yeah. <laughs> The, the bat as much much chance of, of that as me running marathon. Super chance we're left right, yeah. <laughs> so and, and and me running marathons never gonna happen. So <laughs> they're not marathons now. They're snickers. 
<laughs> so, uh, 999,996 left. Davina says four to be precise, yeah. There, there is four, Davina. Well, you know what they say, Davina, you can't please everybody all the time. And look, I've got my own mug, look. What, what Chris bought me. And that's other side. That's like a... Weren't went that for an intro or an outro or something? Oh, I don't know, I can't remember. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. This actual ingredient, I don't know whether you've heard of her, but it's Prulius and it's from the Great British Bake Off. Channel 4, I think it were. So, um, so yeah. And it just says, this: these French classics get the British Tea Party treatment. Hiya, Kate, how are you? I do, Kate, last all With a fluffy me. vanilla sponge coated in cherry jam, <laughs> desiccated coconut and a cherry on top. But I ain't used cherry jam because I only buy strawberry, so hey-ho. Yeah, I'll pretty jam too. Yeah, I, I, we we won't eat cherry jam, so I, I thought, well, it's a waste of time buying it. I have Vanessa, it's a waste of time buying it specifically for this. So I've always got strawberry jam in anyway. So I thought, well, I'll I'll use strawberry jam anyway. So uh, uh I like the fact that smoking is allowed here. Uh, soon to be drone queen. <laughs> but I look at it this way, Davina. I'm in my own home. You know, I'm not hurting anybody. So, you know, the fact that, you know, people frown on you for smoking on, on live streams. But I look at it this way. I'm in my own home, Trace is in her own home, and if you can't smoke in your own home, then it's, um, you know, it's a sad state of affairs. So, I'll just wait for you. Oh, my door's open. <laughs> Johnny, what? I put Caddy said a lad. Oh. Caddy, my cad. Yeah, it's hard. But um, but yeah, you know. Well, once you've finished your cigarette, we'll uh, we'll crack on. I finish. I put it in ashtray. Just go. Um, oh right. Okay, okay then. Well, we'll crack on. Yeah. I know we've only got six in, but hey ho. This is what we do all day long. At the end of the day. Yeah, same as I say, you know, I, uh, people, I, I, I've had people coming in and saying, oh, it's bad for you, blah, blah, blah. And I says, well, look, what I do in my own homes, my own business, nobody else's, et cetera, et cetera. So, yeah, I was just going to say, are you going to turn your camera around, Trace? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> so yeah, like like I normally do, I, I always face my camera down so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Uh, ooh, it nearly fell off then. I don't know about facing down. So right, right, we're going to start then. So for this first bit. You need 100 grams of unsalted butter softened. Now, that's been in there for quite a while, so it should be plenty soft. Even though the mixer I've got does soften it as it goes along. And into this, you... Uh, what is up? Uh, into this, you need 100 grams of golden caster sugar. So that's that golden caster sugar. Right. 
So, yes, I have got a very special mixer divina where it's got what they call, it says, heat soft technology. It's basically, rather than sort of letting your butter soften, I've got the magic uh, it, thing and it softens it. So what? Hi, Hi, Glyn. copyright. <laughs> so yeah, so I'll just sh I I I'll start it up. I don't know about softening it, it's like melting it. <laughs> what? A mixer? Yeah, it's what Chris calls the first Christmas. And it's a Breville. Yeah, you know, look, Kate, that's it. Look. I'll move it a bit closer. And it's got a special button on top so you don't have to soften your butter. I think it's great. I'm I can hear me saying it got sand on Tracy. Yeah. Now I say it's sand, it? I can hear myself. Can you hear me now? One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. yeah. Still here, yeah. All right, love. Uh, yeah, Chris bought it for Christmas, uh, Kate. They're a bit ex on expensive. I think it was about forty nine ninety five. But to say it's got that feature, you know, it, it's uh, you know, it, it it does mean that you don't have to soften your butter. Right, we'll quickly go on to next step. You want 100 grams of self-raising flour. <laughs> it went 400 pound. Uh, two eggs, large eggs it does say. A teaspoon of baking powder. That's already in my flour. Oh, vanilla. And it does say a teaspoon of vanilla bean paste. Now, I had got some uh, vanilla bean paste, but you can use ordinary vanilla. Only thing they say the difference is with this vanilla bean paste is it's got a more a more defined taste, a more I don't know. <laughs> it, it's same thing if you use if you've got vanilla bean paste, use just ordinary vanilla. I've got other vanilla extract. I've got PS. Oh yeah, so I, I have got vanilla bean paste. I've I've had it for a while, so that's that going in. It's supposed to give it a bit, a bit of a more defined taste. You know, I mean, to me, I I can't tell the difference anyway. So, you know, and that's me coming from a baker. So the next thing is, uh, get the mixer out again and mix it. 
Ja. Ja. Du vet inte så här, man får själv rop bättre. Ends up better, better than what? <laughs> so yeah, so I've got the Dariol molds here, as you can see. Now I bought a pack of twelve. I bought Tracy the same ones, but I have greased all twelve just to be on the safe side. But it does say you only need eight. <clears throat> well, you don't need to record it, Divina. Just watch it back on uh, on YouTube. So, uh, so yeah, you don't need to uh, uh, record it. Right. Just be on the safe side. So, what I've got here. Is an ice cream scoop, and I oh, I was planning to use on my video. Oh, oh, okay. Oh. So yeah, so I I, I find it easier to just get a scoop of, you know, use the ice cream scoop. Because it's only a small amount of ingredients, obviously it's not going to make uh, a massive amount. So if you do want to make more, um, I'd say double up on your ingredients. But I did, I did grease all eight, uh, all twelve of my moulds just in case. Just in case, I, I, you know, to me, I mean, I don't really know how, how big Dario mould is supposed to be, but I thought they were they sent a little bit small. So, but these are like Dario mould slash pudding moulds. <coughs> So, uh, you see, I don't want to put too much in and then I'm overflow. So I'm sort of just erring on the side of caution at the moment. Uh, uh, <coughs> From man in corner there. Oh, that's old. I think I've been feeling it last week or two. Like yeah, right. I wish. Uh, I have only done eight. 
but obviously um you know if you're a pretty big family then obviously uh it might not be enough so uh you know just double up on your ingredients that's basically all you've got to do I've had a look oh, at the uh, place. Replay, replay. <laughs> yeah, that's it, Glenn. It all depends on weather, doesn't it? Really, I mean, he's, he's, he's that you know, that's his uh, his go to page, and he says, Oh, it don't look very good for the next couple of days because it looks ever so windy. Yeah, wind, uh, wind looks uh, best bet for Friday. So I'm taking them off because I, I did I did do uh, did grease twelve just in case. So whoop, I'll just put that down so you can see. They they the molds look, and I've I've not quite filled them tip top about three quarters full. So uh, so yeah. Um, they are now ready to go in the oven so it says it says uh, it's gas mark six i know that and it says 200 degrees centigrade or 180 degrees centigrade for a fan or until risen and golden So, uh, is yours ready to go in oven, Tracy? Yeah, yeah, in a minute, yeah, just quick last bit in. Are we ready? Yeah. That can go over there as well. <laughs> so, it says between eight and ten minutes. Uh, so, I have set my timer for nine. I always go, I always go in between. So I've set it for nine minutes. Yeah. If they're not ready, I'll just put them back in again. <clears throat> yeah. Cars in for the dreaded MOT off 11 Friday, so might get the girlfriend to drop me off, mate. Oh, there, there you go. What, what? It says his car's got to go in for MOT. Do you like me mug, Glyn? Chris bought it me. Anybody else a fiver but to Glyn because he's a Wendy fan, a tenner. <laughs> it was before Christmas, weren't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's all what is, Glyn. Well, I'm going on that. Cost you a tenner. Petrol. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, because they're talking other day. Yeah, I know. I'm, he knows I'm only joking. I'll order you one, Kate. Yeah, I'll order you one, Kate. <laughs> I don't know you ordered them. <laughs> he's looking at me. I don't know he ordered them. I think he's on Facebook. Yeah. So yeah, um, well, I forgot what I'm, you, you make me forget what I'm saying now. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Doctor Smith says I'm going to eat some mini muffins to celebrate you putting them in the oven. Yeah, I'm not too bad, uh, Steve. Um, you just missed the main event. They've just gone in oven. Um, I forgot now. This is my cooling rack for when they come out, and I thought, well, it says you've got to cool them for five minutes before you try and get them out of mould. 
So I thought, well, I'll put them straight on there, and then when they come out at moulds, I'll put them onto the greaseproof paper because you've got to eat your jam up and paint paint the jam on your on your on your um. Is your plates and whatnot out? Don't you wash it up while it's. Only oh, pots. They the four moulds I didn't use that had greased anyway. I thought, well, I'll I'll, I'll lay her outside the caution and. Uh, I'll grease them all anyway because you want your cup as well. Mm -hmm. I've got jackpot there. Yeah. Oh, boy, so yeah, so um basically once they come out of the oven, you've got to leave them to cool for um five minutes. So basically what I'll do is when they come out, I'll set timer for five minutes. Um, and then that's sort of, after five minutes, you take them out. <clears throat> it says allow to cool in the mould for five minutes and then very carefully remove and transfer to a cooling rack. So that's sort of after the five minutes. Once slightly cooled, you it, it if like you know like because it's a sponge sometimes um davina says she likes your oddy tracy oh thank you <clears throat> um yeah because sometimes with it being a sponge like it domes now you need them to be flat so i've got a sharp knife that side of me just in case they do dome so i can like trim tops off so they're like flat if that makes sense. Can we melt that? Uh, Oops, sorry. Are you eating your jam in a pan or microwave? No, I've just got it in a I've got it in a plastic cup, look, Tracy, like that. Oh yeah. Oh. I shall get I shall get Chris to put a tablespoon of water in it and then like put it on in you know, like 10, 20 second bursts in in microwave so it, it's more spreadable do you know what i mean yeah i'll just do that a minute while you while we wait can i put it out it's still jar i didn't know you were i didn't know could, what we were doing with it you see because do we have to roll it in the jam well Money what here. i'm going to do what this is this is just my preference but it says spoon or brush the jam over the top and sides of the sponges Toss in desiccated coconut. Now, what I'm going to do, I've got a fork. So I'm going to stick the bottom of. Don't explore. It's. I was on TikTok and I saw someone made buttercream using clover and icing. To be fair, it turned out like frosting, but look creamy. Oh. So, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick each individual one on a fork. And like just roll it if you know what i mean like roll it yeah, yeah. in coconut. I, I i just thought it'd be easier to do it that <laughs> any tongs hey will, tong will tongs work um i reckon the fork could oh. work better um because you, you you coat them in jam but what i'm going to do is i'm going to do them individually you know once they all out and on on my cooling rack um basically i'm going to stick one on end of my fork coat it in jam and then put it in coconut and then put it back on my yeah. cooling rack that'd be, that'd be easier yeah I'll do that way Vest is not necessarily what I like, but is in this case it went well. What covering them in coat? Yeah, well, what, what you do, uh, Glyn? Obviously, because the English Madeleine's the posher than French version. So basically, I've got um, a brush. So you, you obviously you coat them, coat the. Uh, um, Bun cakes in jam and then dip them in coconut. If that makes sense. Hi, Jay. Oh, 
Yeah, he's doing his, uh, his husbandly duties in uh, washing pots. So, yeah, so I, it was just something, you know, I feel a lot better than I did, Jay, put it that way. I'm not 100%. I've still got the blisters. I still keep getting the like splitting headaches. Um, I finished my antiviral tablets now, so it's just a case really of waiting and seeing. I feel a lot better than I did. Let's just put it that way. Can't say I'm 100%, but but they do say like once you've had, once you've got shingles, it can take weeks, even months, to get over them. But obviously, I'm not a spring chicken, so might take weeks. You know, I don't know. But the only way I can, I, I was telling everybody last night, Jay, the only way I can explain it is complete exhaustion. You know, I'd got no energy. Chris was having, uh, Chris probably doesn't cope with the headaches. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, yeah, yeah, he's main cause of the headaches, Jay. Only joking, not really. It's been a godsend, on, on, honestly. You know, I can't, I, I can't sing his praises enough. He's been. No, you can't. You can carry on. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. You know, it got, it got to a point, Jay, where I couldn't even get in and out of bed i just hadn't got you know and when i sort of tried going in bed myself i rather you know it took me about three or four attempts to get in bed i just you know i just hadn't got the energy davina says tracy where are you i'm here <laughs> just putting some jam out into that bowl and then we can... hi kath your cat's hi, in <clears throat> So yeah, so uh, so yeah. It, it's not a nice thing to have. Let me just, you know, it's, you know, and I've 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 sort of made a plan of campaign. I'm going to get some effervescent vitamin C tablets. I'm going to get some extra B B12. You know, it's I'm I'm going to. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> risen a bit. I don't think they were quite big enough. They don't look do them at back then. No. no. Yeah, they weren't going in for a couple of more minutes, probably. I'll say three minutes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, while you're in there, you can put a teaspoon of jam in this. At Teaspoon of water in this jam and uh, oh. stick it in microwave if you don't mind, and then it's done. So, uh, okay, I'm back. <laughs> so yeah, no, I won't. I won't wish it on my worst enemy, and the fact that. This is the second time I've had shingles in less than a year. And it is really, really debilitating. Uh, that, you know, I, I can't express how uh, poorly I were. So, you know, if I've got to give anybody advice, make sure you take your vitamin C. And whatever other vitamins you you take, because no, it's not very nice. Uh, yeah, we've so, got. Yeah. I have vitamin C and vitamin D, and that covery oil. Covery, oh, I can't say it. Covery oil. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, I, I'm ordering some. Um, some of them that you dissolve in water. Yeah. 
like your drink. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Johnny's got some of their ones as well. Yeah, well, uh, uh, Drone Explore oh, is Jay. Oh, Christian, Christian Times goes out with him, Mark the Bart. Um, you know, fellow uh, Sheffield Odeon. <laughs> oh, it's not really a, a word, but yeah. Yeah, well, that's what I'm going to do, Johnny. I'm going to go on Amazon. I've put like effervescent vitamins in. Uh, what, what are they smelt? No, they cherries. cherries that one. A teaspoon, a tablespoon of water. A tablespoon of water in there. Yeah, and, in. yeah, well, just so it, it uh, gets to stir so it's spreadable. So, yeah, so obviously because I'm only having my B12 injections once every 12 weeks. Um, Basically, um, they, they've got spray and they've got tablets, so I will not decided whether spray or tablets, so I've gone with tablets anyway. Um, so, yeah. So, there's vitamin B12, this, um, yeah, an effervescent vitamin C. So you know, I, I don't, I don't plan on getting ill again. You know, I'm just going to take a load of vitamins, like because that's bas basically what it is. It's it attacks your immune system, and obviously, uh, my. Is that all right, or do I put it on a bit longer? Um, yeah, my my vitamin C, um, uh, vitamin C, my immune system, you know. Um, but you see, but you see, the thing is, Johnny, I get vitamin D off at doctor anyway, so I don't really need to order any vitamin D because I I have it anyway. So the only thing that I need to, you know, is the B twelve, which is for your immune system and vitamin C. Viagra eye drop doesn't do anything but makes you look hard. Right. Have a look. Yeah, that'll do. I just need a couple of more minutes to look soft on top. Are they supposed to be soft or firm, do you think? Well, Callum's... Uh, Chris has put mine in a bit a bit longer. Um oh, I, looks I know I keep saying Callum and Yeah, Wendy. There it is. Don't put them straight up put them on there. Oh, well, not over. Oh, over. They I think that extra three minutes has um you're all right now. Uh huh. I'm going to turn that one off now. Uh huh. How do you, lad? Jay, Glenn, Glenn, Jay. Hello, Jonah. Is Glenn still in? Uh. <laughs> so, what I'll do is I'll set the timer for five minutes and, um, because it says you've got to let them cool down for five minutes. Um, <laughs> oh dear, I buzz in. And glow like a buttercup. Uh, so yeah, but you know, it, it, that's my plan of campaign. I'm gonna start, you know, start me sent up with vitamins and all I need is some. But you see. Uh, through a blood test, Davina, I found out that I was vitamin D deficient. <coughs> so basically, I, I get mine off at doctors and I get my prescriptions oh. free anyway. God, it's red hot in this kitchen. It, it, it does get hot in ours. But I don't know about yours, Tracy, but man's all gone over edges. Uh, Johnny, when he walks. Yeah, yeah. 
Well, I just put a little bit extra in because I heard you say it earlier about us moulds. Yeah. And I've got 12. I made 12 out of mine just by putting just a little bit of extra flour and stuff in. Well, I, I, I greased all 12. And I wish now I'd have put some in extra ones, but... So basically what I'll do is, once they've cooled down a bit, I'll, I'll trim all excess off so they're flat and then... Um, you know, we can move on to the next bit then. Yeah. But, you see, my problem is, Davina, I can't go out a lot. So, you know, that vitamin D tablet supplements me not going out, if that makes sense. Hey, Rachel. Yeah, and if you're lacking a vitamin in your food diet, they help you as well, don't they? Yeah, I mean, yeah. But you see, you you see, I take the, the that uh, what they're called, first of all, and it's twenty five vitamins or twenty four vitamins, and but in the small amount that's in them, that's not enough for me, if you know what I mean. I had Richard. Hey, Richard. But you see, I, I know it makes sense, Davina, but I've got osteoarthritis uh, in my knees, so it's not always possible, you know. Uh, yeah. Working till 10 a.m.? Yeah, I'm touching that early on. Oh. Oh. But the thing is, Jay, uh, wind... Thing don't look too clever, does it? Friday's best bet. Uh, if weather's good, I'm out all day in the sun. Uh, but but the thing is, yeah, we, we you, you have to do what you have to do. You know what I mean? Like such as me that don't go out. You know, doctors not prescribe me vitamin D for a, you know for no reason. So basically, I just want to get plenty of vitamin C down me, some more B12. Um, I just don't want this happening again in about five, six months' time because the older you get, the more debilitating it is, if that makes sense. You know, I, I, in all honesty, and I'm being honest here, I felt that bad. I thought I were dying. And, you know, don't sort of shoot me down in flames, but Callum, yeah, is okay. He's got to go into college tomorrow um, to get tested, let's just say. Jay says, why don't you go out if you don't mind me asking? Because I can't walk far, Jay. You know, only place, only place I go go is. Why is that really? Because I've got five minutes to um. Oh, let it cool down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, he's got to go into college tomorrow mm -hmm. to get tested before they'll let him back into college. Now, I was talking to Bella earlier on, and I'd sooner him do that and. You know, me have peace of mind that is safe. Um, you know, because everybody's got to have this test uh, before they can go back into college. So it gives me peace of mind that I know that, you know, it's going to be safe going back to college. Did you know that? What? <laughs> Ah, but anyway, you see, I have to have a, a, a three, a 12 weekly injection of B12. 
but I don't think that injection is enough. If if you get get my meaning, but I suffer from depression and anxiety anyway. You know what I mean? And I'm on antidepressants. I, I you know I don't mind admitting that I'm on antidepressants. Uh, but that's all part of, you know, my disability. You know what I mean? The fact that I can't go out, the th I can't do, you know, yeah, I could go out with Chris with drone, but it would just mean me. Yeah, I've 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 contemplated that actually, Jay. But it's it's finding sort of right strength and whatever. You know what I mean? Jay, do you know anybody? <laughs> yeah, but he's uh, it's all about CBD oil. I know he is. I know he is. He's massive. So, uh, so yeah, I'll just finish my flag, and then I'll pull them on here. <laughs> <laughs> he says you'd probably fly drone better than Chris. Uh... Oh, Jay takes CBD. Well, you'll have to tell Chris where you get it from, Jay, and. We'll, we'll we'll look into it. Does it help anything better? It must be protecting it. Yeah, but the, but the thing is, like I'm on all sorts of painkillers, and still I'm waking up at night, and my knees and my shoulders and everything's killing me. If we want to, well, let me know. I'll pass it, Chris. Oh, mm. cheers, Jay. I take cannabis oil capsule every day. I think you help me more than I know that much. <laughs> you can just take a break from the vitamins and you will see how your brain will push you out. But, but yeah, you know, I've heard it's good for pain, you know, because somebody, somebody made a comment on one of my videos and because I'd had a bad back and whatever, because that's another thing. I suffer with my back as well. And he said his brother... Yeah, has had back problems for years and basically he takes cbd oil and uh, basically says it, it, it's it's you know <laughs> right oh so they 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 them so what I've got an eye feel up. Um, oops, I'm just gonna try and trim these. Cause some of them have. Uh, I'll show you mine. I don't think I'm out of trim mine. But yeah. Oh, I've gone on my lap. <laughs> yeah. Can you see, Jeanette? Oh, yeah, yeah. But I'm just trimming like round edges. Because they're going to be harder to get out. <laughs> Jay says we need life. Get them out. They're not done. They're not done yet, Jay. Looks like French toast. You see, I'm I'm, I'm trimming these down because next step is we've got to get them out at moulds. And with this hang overhanging bit, they're not going to come out at moulds very easily. It's even better when they're not ready. <laughs> <laughs> so you want him to burn his mouth then, Jay? <laughs> yeah, he says he might shut him up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Make him eat them raw. <laughs> yeah. And I think so. I got my capsules off Amazon a year, a year supply for 23 quid. Says uh, Richard. Oh. 
I've already put that Jay. Keep up, man. <laughs> Devine says, uh, Tracy's looks amazing. Don't man look, don't man look good then. <laughs> Are yours off to touch? They're not. They just cooled nice. These are. But I'm only trimming these edges off because they're going to be a lot more difficult to get out of mould if they're not trimmed off. No man, man's I can handle man look. Yeah. I'm soft on me. <laughs> uh, <coughs> oh. Well you see that's that's a problem I have as well, Richard. I have very dry skin. Mm -hmm. Are you watching? Huh? Da -da. Yeah. Mm. Uh. But this second one don't come out as easy. Mm. That's two. Breakfast sorted. <laughs> Jay's put boom. <laughs> uh. Ta -da. Mm. <laughs> I've even got a in the background. Uh, <laughs> well, I look at it this way, Jay. You've either got it or you haven't, <laughs> and I've got it. <laughs> it glings, put that in. It's glings. Oh, and it's very Jay. Oh, well, I don't know. I said, you see, I'm, I'm, I'm. Kathleen's been in ages. Oh, I'll do it. Must have could be while I was watching pots. She could, she could oh, well have been. He's an Easter Not mushroom on that table. What? Oh, Davina and Jay's been on about mushrooms. The magic kind. Yeah. I'm whappy enough without taking any magic mushrooms. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> oh, dear. Two more to do. <laughs> Sticks and biscuits. We've already had them, Kate. Even now, it took us near this near over the head up for now. <laughs> Did it? Get it all out. Yeah, I've just got one more. I could have said some of them, but I might get banned. There's <laughs> one I've missed here. <laughs> See, and that's the reason why uh, you have to trim them. She said, I'm a lovely, that to me, hello, darling. <laughs> get a room. <laughs> well, Kathleen, we'll get a room. We've been told by Mrs. B. <laughs> so, yeah. I'll just put the camera down so you can see. Ta da! Yeah, very nice, did it? So, some are a bit darker than others, but I think they were on like furthest, you know. They were further. Oh, in. look at Tracy's. Mm. Well, yeah. that was not floor. <laughs> hey? Nearly. I said I lost one oh, floor. Oh. Nearly. <laughs> So yeah, right. 
Here's where the jam comes into play and the coconut. Now, I've just had a word with Tracy about this. Um, you should you should use Osmo's three. <laughs> so, yeah. So, it's your common, everyday, you know, fork. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it in the bottom. Oh, she says. Without dropping it. Mm. Look, I've stuck it in the bottom of the madeleine. We need to see you out without D3. <laughs> it says, Put one in Chris's mask to keep him quiet for five. Five minutes? Mate, I put one in every mask. We've been gone in two minutes. It, it, one mouthful. <laughs> so, yeah, so now. The plan is, right, you coat them in jam. See, I thought sticking them with a fork would be a lot easier to coat them with jam. It's just a matter of okay. what? Okay, put two in. <laughs> <laughs> it's only made eight, Jay. <laughs> so somebody's only got two. Probably me. So, yeah, here's where your painting and decorating skills come in handy. It does say cherry jam on the uh, recipe, but I always use strawberry jam. So, uh, basically, you know, if you haven't got cherry jam, don't go out and buy it, especially because strawberry jam's just as nice so i hope you can see what i'm doing guys yeah put it up a little bit so yeah i've uh i've coated that in in jam That like painting by numbers, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to put this here so you can see what I'm doing because I'm doing each individual one. So that is um, 75 grams of desiccated coconut. Hey, Miss Chick. Hiya, Miss Chick. So, yeah, all I'm going to do is. Coat it in coconut. Oh, good Tracy bringing the thing so slow. Uh. Getting technical now. We'll be camera. Uh. <laughs> oh, coconut going everywhere. Oh, my well, please, and Jay, the show, Jay. See you later, Jay. See ya, 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 Oh, Jim says, Good evening. I'm just about to premiere a video, but I thought I'd pop in and say, Oh, hi. okay, then, Miss Chick. Davina said, it, Coconut's a favourite. Mm. <laughs> uh, you could tell by that noise. Okay, then, Davina, see you, see you later. Hello, Well, yeah, I'd say this is probably the most time-consuming bit of it, is painting it in blooming jam. But it does say spoon or brush, but 
Can you imagine it going all over the place if you tried to spoon it on? You know what I mean? It's a lot easier to spoon it on than it is, you know. Not you, obviously. What? <laughs> What? Not you, obviously. <laughs> um, Speaking to me. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> See, this is the problem, Davina. When you're cooking, when you're baking live, you know, I have to rely on Chris to tell me what everybody's saying in chat. Cause I, that, you know, sometimes I miss what people are saying. And yeah, so you can talk about it. I've got the chat right from over here, so. When you know what I mean? Oh, Glyn's going now. See you later. See you later, Glyn. Bye. You know, you, you, you're you trying to sort of concentrate on what you're doing so you can't always keep an eye on the chat. Hey, we all good because I'm getting funny. Uh, <laughs> Sausage surprise. <laughs> Hold that one there, Uh-huh. <laughs> Atari 1.6. That one's getting old as well. Right, Atari 2 litre diesel. Uh, <laughs> it went down to six, went back up to seven now. <laughs> uh, oh, look at those, she says. Yeah, they, uh, this is most time consuming bit, uh, Miss Chicken, having to paint the jam on, let's just say. Oh, just lost a great big blob on my mat. It's a good job I've got my mat on there, isn't it? <laughs> I can't believe somebody thought that that were a, a 3D shape. What, what, what? I'm wrong about it yesterday. They were doing maths and, and English, and somebody, it, it teacher says, Can you name a, a 3D shape or something? Weren't it, Amjad? Well, and this, and sugar somebody said sugar dumps. <laughs> They're all laughing. Oh, but. You know, it's true what they say, you always get one, don't you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, it was, they were in his maths and English, I think. Well, obviously maths. He trust for it to, um, to name a 3D shape. One of them says sugar dumps. Mm. Well, he's done three so far. <laughs> yeah, oh, 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 they're, they, they, they're relatively simple. These are the moulds that I used. The, the pudding moulds. Um, see you later, Miss Chick. Bye, Miss Chick. Couldn't stop laughing yesterday. There ain't a shape called sugar dumps, but it was a I can imagine I, I, I'd have been ups. I, I wouldn't stop laughing all day, I'm glad if I were there. Pass me that coconut dump. <laughs> <laughs> Cool, 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 it might taste better because it's got strawberry jam in it, though. Uh, well, you never know until you try it. I'll try it. I'll always try it. I know that, 
<laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I wondered. I thought I was sniffing raw air in at the same time, and I couldn't breathe. Oh, I wondered what was going on in that corner. <laughs> Imagine. Oh, sugar. I've just dipped me. I'm trying to read Amjad's thing, and I've dipped. Imagine the same food as said chocolate bumps. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Three more to go. Mm -hmm. Got all the coat on up in the jam now. Mm. But yeah, the, I mean, the, 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 they're pretty simple to make. It's just this bit that's very. Sort of time consuming, isn't it? If you know what I mean. Mm. But you know, yeah, it's time consuming, but it makes it look nice, if that makes any sense. I literally typed sugar dumps on Google last night, but it was all sugar nothing. Uh, about a shame for the student was hilarious. Uh, somebody dared him to say it. Probably. <laughs> what were Callum on about this morning? I forgot. Oh, it meant to say, <laughs> it meant to say, it was talking about something and he meant to say hypothetically. And he says, I hyperventilating while well, me and Chris were peeing his <laughs> pants. He says, well, you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Mm. But, you mm. know, <laughs> it, it, it meant to say hypothetically. And he didn't. He said hyperventilating. Oh, yeah. I mean, Chris couldn't stop laughing. I says it's a good job we know what you're on about, Callum. I was just going to say that, so we know what you, what you were on about. Yeah, about. yeah, it was, it was just, and me and Chris, could, it was just Harry come out with it, and it were all serious. You know what I mean? Yeah. When's the drone show, Pix? Did Pixie cut Jeanette's seat off again? No. No. <laughs> what? Becky. Drone show this afternoon, already done it, go and have a look at live stream. Yeah, he did a live stream from, from drone this afternoon, Richard. After after, after when... Uh, after I went out... Toby says it weren't going through the drone. Yeah, it, it flew, flew, flown over its tarn. Well, close to tarn. Or close to tarn. And the current chart, it's, it's still on your face. We can't see it now coming from drawing. So, obviously, I didn't see that. Thank you, Kate. Uh, obviously, I didn't see that. So, I had to go up off my sofa, got up front door, and I says, it's on you, not on, you know. So, we went, crap. He says, so what? That last five minutes, he says, it's all been for no work. <laughs> I says, well, I says, I could have sat here and let you carry on. Mm. I says, but, um, you know, because at least I've come out and told you. I think I might have enough jam for the last two. What was I going to do? I don't know. Well, I thought you were doing a weekly drone chat live. Uh, Fridays, Friday, Friday evening, uh, Richard. 
because I am uh, my new schedule is Hello, Gordo. Hi Gordo. My Hello. new schedule my new schedule is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So like I get three days off four in a row. <coughs> Let the other live stream with the drone if I've got a signal. Yeah. Phone. Well, I don't know what you are. What? A knife. I'm a knife? Yeah. I'm a knife. Because I cut through like butter. Mm. <laughs> well, yeah. The, this is the most time consuming bit of it. Having to coat them in jam. I mean, coconut bit ain't, ain't too bad. Yeah, it's just yeah. coat coating the cakes in in jam. Oh, um, yeah. No, that show got cancelled, Rich, because we couldn't get everybody on the panel at the same time. Yeah, they wanted Jackie and Steve and uh, the same Friday show. Den Dennis and um, everybody. They wanted them all on at the same time, but. It's like a bit of a problem getting everybody there at the same time. Do you mind making a little racket in corner there? <laughs> I don't care what you've got, you're making a little racket. But yeah, he's it what he's doing. Uh, Richard is at Friday evenings like playing people's videos. Yeah, well, he knows this is one of them next, uh, not next, next week. It's Friday evening. No, I've got one this Friday. Uh huh. Uh, Richard's next Friday, and then another one already sold for the week after. No, we don't have corn dogs. Becky's is eating corn dogs. Corn dogs. Yeah. Never, never tried a corn dog. It's, uh, I bet. Dog. I think Kate has. Kate's yeah. had corn dogs. Oh, yeah, dogs. They like things on sticks. Um, a bit like a hot dog yeah. on a stick. I've heard of them. Never had one. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, no, we don't have them. Them here in in UK. Uh, Got hot dogs. Mm. Yeah, oh, oh, uh, that's. I said Kate says not over here, Becky. But I've tried them when we went to. I thought. I thought Kate said she would tried them because Bella, when she went to America, she thought it was corn. She didn't realise it was like a hot dog. So yeah, this it, amount of jam, it's 100 grams, I think. I think I forgot to add that bit of a, is it 100 grams of, uh, oh, pardon me, jam here. 100 grams of, oh, pardon me. Yeah, basic, basically a battered sausage, Kate says. Wow, a battered sausage. On a stick. Oh, there you go. I think we'll make some cookies next week. Cookies. I want cookies. We ran out of last batch. <laughs> I told him he could. Uh, uh, Book the job, please. What? What job, please? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> like you, she uh, she probably type in that fast. Yeah. Just put okey dokey. Oh, she's gonna send me some. I'm on my last one. Whoa. 
Cookie diet cake. Yeah, the, the the ones I'm I'm on about doing are, are like chocolate one with chocolate sprinkles on. Or do what something a bit different. Night, night, everybody. Night, Johnny. Night, night. You know, look what he's doing. He's taking <laughs> to bed. Today. Hey. I'm walking off with bed. I was going to say, is he taking away him? Yes, it's good night, everyone. He's taking buns to bed. <laughs> They're not finished yet. Where do you have a camera then? I need a camera. What? These? Yeah. These are English Madeleines, uh, Becky. Oh, they look good. I just need they only like French ones, but they're a bit more posher than French. That door needs some grease on it till some WD forty bit sounds on it. <laughs> yeah. Well, without a cherry on top, I'll have that one. <laughs> well, I'm putting cherry on top of them all. You can take cherry off when you eat it. <laughs> I think they're all going to go in the fridge. Not really. Oh. Trace is in front of me. She's done all this. Boom. I'm just sat here at my desk, at my chair. Yeah. Only well, one I'm, thing I've got for my Madeleines. I've got no cherries for the top. I thought I had some in cupboard, but like I said, I Johnny, I'll go and get some tomorrow and stick them on tomorrow. I'll <laughs> talk because mm -hmm. I got on to pop tonight. When I was a kid, I, I, I was Yeah, I done. So, yeah, so that's. That's some all coke, coke, coke coated in coconut. <laughs> I'll just put the uh, camera down a little bit. So the only thing now is when I was a kid, we'd eat eat it with different form. All right. So yeah. So as you can see, that's some in. Uh, coated in coconut and now all there's left to do is stick a cherry on top if it don't stick to any finger <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, look at him yawning in corner <laughs> Tracy ain't I ain't got no cherries because we forgot. Tracy, look at your food. <laughs> I thought I had to be covered, but I think Johnny's eating them. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> him. Yeah. So if you're watching, Johnny, have you ate all Tracy's cherries? Who ate all the cherries? Who's done it? You've had this like planned up me for a little while to cook these. And then I think I've got all ingredients, and I just think we just changed, you changed your mind to wanting to do some last yeah, time. Yeah, and then last week I was poorly, weren't I? I think, yeah, yeah. And then they've been in that cupboard, I know they have, because I bought them, but they're not there now. <laughs> so as you I can see, it. guys. Look lovely. Uh, that is the finished article, and that is English Madeline's. And one's a mango with cherries. Yeah. Uh, Tracy's done hers, but without cherries. I'm going to put uh, cherries on tomorrow. Yeah. The old, same as I say, the only day, because uh, I've got them in, and, I, and I, I'd bought them with me shopping, and I know I'd, nobody, because these lot don't like them. So, baby, can you just do me a favour? Get me wet wipes. So I've got all sticky fingers now. Ooh. So, yeah, if you want another. Another look, guys. That's some that's English Madeleines. 
like the French version, but posher. <laughs> you can wait. Um, uh, it should be down there. Should be. Know, what's them other ones then? What the what, what's a bit similar to that? We get like a, a, a Madeline pan, don't you? Pardon? What's them other ones called? You know, you can, it's like a Yorkshire pudding team, but it looks like um, a shell shape. Yeah, they they the French Madeline ones. Oh right, because when we've they when like I shell. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. There's no decoration on the French ones. They're just sponge, basically. Thank you very much, uh, Pixies. Cath's comment or something. I don't know. <laughs> Why is it, it has it stopped? You see, this is the thing. I put on. What did I put on your live stream this afternoon? And and they removed my comment. Trace the looking water. Water cap. So yeah, so basically that's them done. They're quite easy to make. The only downside is the um painting jam on. That's the only oh pixie shout cats pixie shout. Oh yeah. What? Yeah, about a looking in, in your tub. I don't think even Tracy understands that one, uh, Kate. Because she did, she did read it out. She says, "What tub?" <laughs> I'll read Kath's comment. Yeah, Tracy, look. Yeah. In. It says, tub. "Telling Tracy, check tub." The tub. Yeah. <laughs> plenty, plenty of tubs. <laughs> Which one? Oh, hey, okay. Uh, I've got my own set of drawers for my baking stuff. Yeah, I think I know it should be tub about sugars and stuff, Kat. But why? Oh, you right. tub? I don't know. I don't understand. I don't oh, but cherries. I've got no cherries in there, love. No. Yeah. Is Johnny's ate them all. <laughs> yeah. John, John is the cherry thief. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. Yeah, don't know about you, Tracy, but I've got blooming coconut all out, shan't I? Did, yeah, I did. Yeah, I've wiped it all up. I found it easier, do you know? Like I saw you sprinkling it on yeah. the fork, yeah, because the thing were on the fork anyway. I just sort of like rolled it up. That's probably yeah, why I, I, just, I just rolled it over it, put coconut in, and sprinkled it on with my fingers. But it's like this, you know, you do whatever's easier for yourself. And I find yeah. that easy, you know, because I have arthritis in my hands and whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you can't, yeah, it's your wrist. It's just yeah. simpler to do that. Oh. Right, well, guys, I'm going to get... Cherries on, don't they? It finishes it off. Hey? They look real nice. They yeah, look really they, look, nice. they do look nice with cherries on top, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll show you again, look. They do, they do, it does set them off, it off. We have it cherries on top, so it makes them look. And you've kept look, yours uh, upside down, way, haven't you? Yeah, but I've turned mine. That's, up, that's up. why I trimmed some of the uh sponge off one because I thought it'd be easier to go them out at more. Sure. Yeah, I, well, yeah. I'm I'm gonna shut it down anyway, Kate. Cause um, I, I I says to Chris, I says I'm not gonna hang about once we've uh, okay. once we've done what we've, yeah what 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 we've got to do. Um, you know, enjoy eating yeah. them. So so yeah. So I'm I'm uh, I'm I'm gonna go now. Thank you for coming yeah, in. I'm Thank fine. you for Tracy joining me. And Thank yeah, Chris, me. tell you whether they taste nice or not <laughs> uh, and I'll show you all so you, know, you make up your mind for baking cookie wise yeah so yeah so as I say I weren't too sure about it I thought it were like 12th hour I said to Chris he says are you going to go live doing your baking and I went 
yeah i think so so he says well don't go overdoing it and i says well look as soon as they're done as soon as you know blah de blah de blah i'm i'm that's it i'm gonna shut it down yeah so i'll see everyone tomorrow evening hopefully uh okay. thank you for coming in thank you for tracy for joining me and i'll see you all tomorrow on the next one bye for now bye hey everyone thanks for everything for tonight for Jeanette. oops <clears throat>